everyone. This is Kokur Bernard. I'm continuing with our user lessons here on YouTube and so I'm going to deal with practical question 2 on database. So as usual we are going to create a folder and then inside we shall create a database called Kagali database. So here we right click and create a folder called practical. This folder can always be renamed in your names. So practical database. That's the name of our folder. Open it. Inside, right click, create a new database and call it Kagali. Kagali database. Enter twice to open. And so when this database opens, you enable content always. Always enable content. And then the question says create a database and save it as Kagali database. Create a table to capture the given information with appropriate data types. Save it as Kagali. So this is our table that we are going to enter in our database. So this means that we are going to create table design. And so here field names we have student number followed by name followed by sex. So you can click OK when that message comes followed by sex followed by age followed by home district and then when you look at our table here this is text 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 number text text okay so we are going to change only age to number and then we put a primary key on student number student number put a primary key that's all save the table as Kagali you click OK and so you click view on view data sheet view so from here you can expand that column also that one so that you start putting the information K0067 name is Bavirie Bavirie sex is F age is 18 home district is Iganga so you fill all the details until when all of them are over from this table so after filling the info the table in the information they are telling us that after putting the information in the table we can save changes so they are telling us to change district names into uppercase. So here we are done. You can put this information in design view. So reaching there, you come to district, click there, click data type under district, home district. Then you come to format, remove that art symbol and put there greater than like that put that greater than symbol save changes go view data sheet view so now the home district is now in capital letters next generate a form to return the records of the following student of the following fields student na student number name age home district this means that they want us to exclude sex and class in the information we shall bring. So close your table, create query design. Is it a query? Sorry. They want us to create a form. We can close this and we create a form. Create 
from wizard so from here choose items like student number name choose age and then choose home district like that click next next call this one students form students form you click on finish so here this is our form so we have saved it as students form the name is here save it as student form then if in the form insert any clip at picture from the library to appear as the logo so this form we put it in design view can put it in design view so they want us to have any image here so you click here insert image and then you browse so when you click browse in your computer you look for anywhere where you have pictures so for example if i go on the desktop and then on the desktop if i choose new picture and then i will draw here so this is an image to act as a logo and then next is uh, is uh, include the title as Kagari secondary school with font size 20 so we are going to include a heading here this heading can be included here so this picture can go in front you click there move it around there click inside write Kagari secondary school click outside around there click there again go to the home tab size they want 20 you can even bold it you can even give it color you can choose any color of your choice yes save changes next that indicate the date and time it has been created so we are going to, create, to have date and time in our form so this means that we shall go under design tab so here you click date and time so here include date include time click ok so this will return date this will return time so click save go to down arrow view form view so this is our view our form with a title a picture date and time close your form next question says use a query to filter out students from massacre district save it as massacre so we are going to create query design add close put all the fields come to criteria under home district click criteria under home district builder right there massacre click ok click the run icon so i think in our table we have one person who comes from massacre we can check and see if it is only one person coming from Masaka, I think it's like that. It's only one person coming from Masaka. Okay. Next on the instruction is to filter out students with age above 18. So save this as Masaka. So we go to create query design add close put all the filters criteria under edge go to builder 
and so we are going to create those with age above 18 so in here you say greater 18 like that click ok click the run icon these are the students who are above 18 save it as age click ok close your query so that is the instruction H generate a report from the table save it as student report so we are going to create a report wizard and so this report will be generated from our table called Kagali take all fields next next go on so call it student support student support you click finish so this is our report generated from the table you can close your report if it has no errors uh, next add your name and personal number as a footer on your report so this report you can open it under view design view we are going to add a footer so a report footer is put here so we are going to do like this we have created the space we come to the design tab then on these controls we choose a label capital a small a is a label you draw there then you write there your names kakuru benat 067 I click outside save changes click view report view so this is the foot cross your report so thank you for watching this marks the end of our number on database practical tool subscribe to my youtube channel I remain Kukuru Bernard thanks for watching